French gastronomy was added by the UNESCO to its list of the world's intangible cultural heritage in November 2010. The French are passionate about their cooking. In France, cooking is a serious form of art. During our recent trip to France, we tried to experience and appreciate the French cuisine. We also wanted to understand the secrets of the French paradox, how to enjoy food and still stay slim and healthy. Our first stop was Lyon, the gastronomy capital of France and the world. Lyon is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, given for its historical and architectural landmarks. The old town of Lyon is full of restaurants. France is famous for its haute or grand cuisine, served in luxury hotels and high-level establishments. It is characterized by meticulous preparation, heavy sauces and strong marinades accompanied by expensive wines. Nouvelle Cuisine made its appearance in the 1960s. This new cuisine focuses on natural flavors and the use of the freshest possible ingredients. Cooking methods were simplified and often cooking times reduced. In Lyon, one can shop for these fresh ingredients from outdoor farmers' markets. One can also shop at indoor food markets, where there is a large variety of quality produce. Paul Bocuse is one of the most prominent chefs associated with the Novelle Cuisine. In 2011, he was awarded the Chef of the Century by the Culinary Institute of America. We went to experience his three Michelin star restaurant in Lyon. This is the world famous truffle soup, which he prepared for the presidential dinner at the Alaysay Palace in 1975. Our river cruise took us on the Rhone River to the truffle growing region in southern France. The French love their truffle, calling them black diamonds. He said it's the only mushroom which grows six to nine months underground. On dit pourquoi elle est chère. And it's very expensive. Parce qu'on n'en produit pas assez. Because they don't, they don't produce enough. Et vous savez plus qui c'est qui mange les truffes And you know who eats the truffles Le français. The French. <laughs> Il mange trop de truffes, le, man, le français. And he said the French eat too many truffles. Contre le biscuit. And so he said, right now, this is a pulpit where you exchange the truffle against the biscuit. Alors, elle aime le biscuit comme elle aime la truffe. And she likes the biscuit and the truffle. Et on lui dit, qu'est-ce que tu veux La truffe, le biscuit, la truffe, le biscuit. Elle préfère le biscuit. Au secours She found it. Apporte, Amy, apporte, apporte, apporte. Ne la mange pas Non Ah mais elle la mange, hein Elle la met dans sa bouche, elle veut tout manger. Amy Interdiction de manger la truffe. Tu en prends trop l'habitude. C'est pas bien. Allez, continue. The next stop 
brings us to Le Grand Maison in the town of Bordeaux. This boutique hotel with its gastronomic restaurant opened in December 2014. It is the joint effort of two ambassadors of excellence. Joe Robuchon, the chef with the most number of Michelin stars in the world, teamed up with Bernard McGrace, patron of arts and owner of four Grand Cru wineries in Bordeaux. The highlight of the dinner was the breast chicken studded with black truffles and enclosed in a veal bladder. As the bladder was cut at our table, one could detect the truffle aroma. It was mentioned that the veal bladder with the enclosed chicken was poached in a water bath for about 45 minutes. This method of cooking enhances the flavours of the chicken. The chicken was served as two courses. It was cooked to perfection. The meat was tender and moist, and the flavours of the dish were subtle. No, no, no. So it's called Morbier. Morbier, okay. Comté. Salers. Yes, with blueberries. Then a raspberries, strawberries, fruit salad, chocolate tart. Then you have a mango clafouti, and a pancake uh, based, yeah? Uh, chocolate mousse. The French have a rich diet of fatty food such as cheeses, foie gras, pastry, cream sauces, and yet they are slim and healthy and have a lower rate of heart disease. The French paradox. Why is this so? The French are knowledgeable and discerning in their eating habits. They love and enjoy their food and wine. Wine is in their blood. They eat fresh seasonal food and take the time over their meals. They listen to the internal body cues and stop eating when they feel full. Perhaps this is a lesson we can learn from them.